Aloha guys. In this video, I'm going to show you my top three bedtime stretches. I do these pretty much without fail every single evening as I'm winding down, getting ready for bed. So number one, we have the double quad stretch. Number two, pigeon pose. Number three, reclined butterfly. All right, let's walk through all these positions. So the quad stretch or the double quad, I like to start here at first, just to get the, the knees to loosen up. And then when you're ready, gently lean back into this stretch. You can also do it with one leg. It's a little bit easier. The double quad can be a little intense. Lean back into position and then hang out here for as long as you feel comfortable. And I will shift to the side from here. I'll kind of move the hips to the side, changing the angle of the stretch, especially at the knees. And then I'll shift my weight to the other side. And also in the center, if you squeeze your glutes and lift your hips up, often get a good hip flexor stretch. The main thing is play around with these different positions and let me know if you find something interesting yourself, share it with me in the comments below. So next up is the pigeon where you bring one leg across like this. If you pull the heel in closer, this is a, a bit easier. You want to work toward getting the shin perpendicular to your line of sight and then lay down on top of it like so. Now this position is not ideal for my head and neck to be kind of craned up like this. It may work for a little while, but I found that if I do this off the end of the bed and I have whatever I'm reading or watching to be dropped below the surface here, often I'll grab a pillow too, that I can be in a more of a neutral neck position and still enjoy my book. Hang out in this position as long as you like and then switch sides to even things out. And lastly, we have the reclined butterfly. And this one is just a very gentle hip opening stretch. But I like to just relax, hang out, read a book, whatever. After I'm set with this stretch, I like to do a little internal rotation here and play around with that and that as well. Not only is this a great way to incorporate stretching into my daily practice, but it also has built up this association with sleep. So I know that when I get my book out, when I put my blue blockers on, when I start my stretch down routine, my body is building that association with I'm winding down, I'm getting ready for bed. All right, that is it. Let me know what you think of these three positions or if you discovered a new stretch position that works as part of your evening routine. Now, if you want to know the stretches I perform in the mornings, I'll put a link to it somewhere around here. And also guys, I'm doing online coaching. So if you'd like to work with me and put together a program to improve your health, your fitness, lose weight, then we can put that together and I'll put the details in a video around here if you wanna check that out. Patrons, subs, thank you guys so much for your continued support. Hope to see you guys soon for more videos. Aloha.